You're watching Black Tree on TV. I am so sick of black women protecting black men who don't deserve it. Your husband's okay with friends coming over. He's not living here at the moment. Hello, Tim. Hello, Angela. So, hey, Ad- Angela, is it Angela uh, Grovey or is it Angela Groovy? Like, which one? Which... Oh, <laughs> so today, we always groovy. We, you know, people, I, I answer to both. I answer to both. <laughs> well, I, my first question to both of you guys, I mean, because y'all are some Texans. And I want to know, yeah. like, how how was it assessing this Hollywood dream and the Broadway dream from Texas? Like, what did do you do you think it's not as hard as people would think, or did you? I mean, like, did, did being in that location make it harder to reach the the West Coast or the New York to reach these opportunities um, to to go for them? And can you tell me, like, how you broke into band slam, for instance, Tim Joe? I mean, being in Texas. I didn't know anybody that acted or so it was such a unicorn of a profession, but Texas is big. So we dream big too. And, you know, you, there's something about anybody that, that chooses a profession in entertainment that you have to have this sense of this gigantic naivete uh, to to pursue this kind of dream. And uh, maybe growing up in Texas, uh, it gave me a lot of, uh, gave me a lot of fortitude because you know I, I grew up my, my graduating class was 800 people and there were maybe four Asians so mm-hmm. something about this representation uh desire of mine to be to be a face on a screen to represent my people in my face was was deep it cut real deep uh deep enough for me to to think that I could pursue a, a career in this out in California yeah I would say you know very similar to Tim, you know, growing up in Texas, I'm a very proud Texas girl. Um, But at some point I knew that I needed to spread my wings. You know, I'm the only actor in my family. So I was like, I got to go explore. Um, So I spread my wings, you know, I got big dreams. um, And I love, I mostly love the hustle of being an actor. Um, But I think too, it's important to put ourselves out there. I think that I offer something that not every other woman can offer. Um, And I think it's important to show other people that people like me exist. People like me are also good storytellers. Um, And I think growing up in Texas, I didn't see a lot of that. So it really, really pushed me to say, no, Ange, find find space for that, Make, make them want to open doors and opportunities and write stories for people like you so you know i think a little drive came from from our good old roots in texas well yeah you know to add to that i would say if i grew up in la and i had i was skateboarding with other korean kids and i was like in a high school with a bunch of other asian kids i might not not have found acting it might not have been something that pulled me yeah well well angela i'm also curious it's been like 10 years since joyful noise and I know you've done done a lot on stage in between, but you must have got some nose in between there. I'm like, how how's the fortitude as an actor to when you when you go and you you want these parts and to keep going? And now you've got this great show coming out on Hulu. Uh, now you know, ten years after that that project, like, what does it take to like not get discouraged and to keep pushing pushing through? Oh, that's a great question, Joy. You know, I actually, you know, I went to school and studied musical theater. I thought my dream was to be on a Broadway stage and that was it. Um, So when the television and film industry started welcoming in, me in around Joyful Noise, I just thought like, I was like, oh, I just hit the jackpot and I was like able to do that. So I pursued theater again. But like recently, it's been like, no, 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 please, we want you to come back. I was like, TV film, you want me back? Okay. <laughs> um, but I think for me, it's just, I'm passionate. I'm a storyteller. So whatever genre I'm doing it in, be it theater or voiceover or commercials, I always want to tell stories. So I think that has been able to fill some of the gaps when I have jumped from genre to genre is that yeah. it might be no for right now in TV and film, but I'm getting yeses over here. So um, I'm grateful to, to understand the business of this, that where one side says no right now, they'll come back. 
So I'm grateful for the comeback. Mm -hmm. All right, and Tim, Tim, last question. Um, I know like the, the industry has grown up and been a lot more aware of things, but you're, you know, you're Asian American from, from Texas. You don't have a, a heavy accent. Do you, do you find a lot of producers, I'm sure early in your career were like, you know, maybe sp speak with the more Asian accent or something like that. Do they allow you to just to be Asian American more as these new stories and new platforms come out? Do they just allow you to be yourself instead of wanting you to play into a stereotype of what they think uh, Asian American should be? I think that's a great question. I mean, for me, coming from Texas and having uh, my values and, and, and the standards of what I wanted to do with, with my career outside of my artistry, uh, almost in a way on top of my artistry for the longest time was representation. So uh, you look at my resume, it's not stacked. I, I was very picky. I, I drew a, a thick line in the sand that I've never crossed on the types of characters that I would put on screen. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's been tough to, to maintain a, a, like a, a career with that kind of uh, line in the sand. But as the industry is changing, uh, the most important thing is that we're having people of color telling the stories instead of just the people on, uh, instead of just trying to be a face for people, you know, non-people of color that are writing them. Yeah. So yeah. that's starting to change. So that's good. And what I'm finding is I can, the, the more that this is happening, the less I need to fight the words and the more I can embrace it uh, as an artist. And, yeah. and, and at the end of the day, in a weird way, I can forget what I look like because I can start really digging into to the soul of the characters. And, and, and that I, freedom is something that I, that I wasn't, that I was always hoping for. I loved you guys in this show. I can't wait to see more from y'all. And uh, Angela, it's, it's commendable what you already do for, uh, people that's incarcerated and you, you give back to all that stuff so wish you the best in your career i'm, I'm new fans of both of you and i'll i'll be here for uh, everything y'all got coming out next uh, thanks. thanks so much for the great chat